Previously on Baldur's Gate 3. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. If I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun. Or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death. Alone. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid house. Viewer discretion is advised. someone inside out. Oak Father, give me your strength.
That should work. There shall be no mercy. You picked the wrong fight, friend. You did it. You actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice, but those three were too dangerous to leave alive. And you'll receive it soon enough. Return to the Grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here.
use this to fix me. No one back home will ever believe this. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Of course.
May you keep balance. What's next? Is that blood? No, never mind. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. May Tamora's luck twist your way. to live in more interesting times. Took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay. But consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the Druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Helsin. A misjudgment, one that should weigh heavily upon her. But the Grove still needs her passion. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. What of them? They are our guests until they wish to leave, as I said the day they arrived. But they blinded you to truth. Outsiders bring only chaos. And what have you brought? Harmony, balance. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. 
I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The grove will be whole again. Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Glaive. So why does touching it give me a knot in my stomach? No time to waste. No time to rest. It'll take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first step. Of course. May you keep balance. You have 
You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. <laughs> By all means, go and enjoy yourself. I'll be here, waiting for the sunrise. Would you look at this place? All these people, happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations, too. Fuck yes. I'm celebrating my freedom and our friendship and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire-retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Not so much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords and schemes. Plus, people just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. You too, soldier. Enjoy yourself tonight. You've earned it. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Shadowheart trails off and glances around at the party. She turns back to you, mildly surprised you're still there. I thought you might have wanted to mingle with the others. Do you mind? I'm very busy. A bed? And so much more. Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep, we'll find each other. Indeed you will, my love. Indeed you will. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades, yet they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us you have promised your body to Astarian. I hope for your sake he doesn't come too near your neck. For now. But come morning, you will wonder. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted. How my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Will looks particularly tempting. Beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion. 
though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone, curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us, ink glinting in the firelight. Tauron's lost nose! No! Tara is not any cat. She's a Tressum. And given your confusion, I'm guessing you've never met one. They're brilliant creatures. Fine company for any self-respecting wizard. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable. Wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself. But Tara never did. It was her encouragement. Her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. You remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress' coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. Sadly not. If I'm being entirely honest, my social circle is rather small. More of a dot. Or a pinhead. I've got acquaintances, certainly. Plenty of colleagues. Friends? Those are precious indeed. I hope that we've only known each other for a short time. I might be able to count you among that number. I'm glad. To know you enjoy my company is... Well, it's rather wonderful. Actually, I'd be loath to waste the time of someone who's become rather important to me. Wine is to wit, as meat is to... to... Ugh, can't bloody remember it. There I go then, proving your point. Perhaps we'd better leave it at that. My ineloquent tongue isn't worthy of your ear at present. Go, indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. No. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the Grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Horns this sharp will pop the balloons, you see. And the guests won't take kindly to scars quite so monstrous. If only half the world had half the heart you do. But 
Off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Some time alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. last time I was eight and you magicked up a kitten how was I supposed to know it was made of fire go on now don't waste a night like this talking to me we'll discuss your problem tomorrow go on enjoy yourself Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. A buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? There you are. I've been waiting. Waiting since the moment I set eyes on you. Waiting to have you. Don't I? You're here. And I don't think you want to talk. I think you want to be known. To be tasted. It's a poem, a gift from Casador. He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. You recall the sharp, complex lines of the script. It was written in the language of the Hells. Infernal? I... Who knows? The bastard was insane. Anyway, enough pillow talk. Let's go before the tieflings drag us into another mess. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. We get a cure, and the chance to hit these arseholes where they live. Sounds good. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. 
This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. May Sylvanas guide us. <laughs>